Hi, this is James from World War II Jeep and Rifle, and today I've got a World War II BC611. This is the authentic World War II handy talkie. So, uh, uh, of the top 10 things you need to know, the, the original walkie talkie was called a handy talkie, and this is it right here. BC611, also known as the SCR 536. That's the number two thing to know about this thing. Number three, the frequency that uh, it could receive and transmit at ranged from 3.5 megahertz to 6 megahertz, depending on the crystals that were installed in the unit and its tuning. Number four thing to know about this radio is it operates with amplitude modulation not frequency modulation this is an am radio and strangely uh the the army infantry air force and uh all of the the military units from the u.s use uh, a wide range of modulation schemes and frequencies and so you had uh you had only certain radios that could communicate with the bc611 number five this was developed in 1940 by motorola they invented it and uh, that's the company you can give credit to for the walkie-talkie. Number six, it was uh, designed using vacuum tube technology. And uh, so the transmitter, receiver, mixer, amplifiers for audio and RF, they're all based on vacuum tube uh, circuitry. Number seven, the power uh, supplied to this Walkie talkie, handy talkie is through batteries. This is battery powered. And the battery domains, there's two domains. There's a 1.5 volt DC domain and a 100 volt battery domain. <clears throat> and back in the day, they, they had battery, uh, batteries specially designed to fit inside the chassis. And today you can buy adapters that will convert regular D cell batteries into these two, uh, two supplies for the vacuum tubes and circuitry. Number eight, this unit fully loaded with batteries weighs eight pounds, sorry, five pounds. Um, there, uh, it's, uh, you know, pretty, pretty heavy compared to what you can get today. Like these little guys, this has got a lot longer range and it's only got some AAA batteries in it, but but back in the day, this was a huge breakthrough for our infantry from uh, the start of the war on through. Number nine, the range for the BC-611 is one mile over land, line of sight, three miles over water, line of sight, and could only be a few hundred feet if you're inside terrain. The, the number 10 fact about the BC-611 is its power output. Its power output to support that kind of communication range was only 0 0.027 watts. So it's pretty low power. I guess you got to figure, you know, with a um, battery battery operated portable unit of this size, you only get so much range. And uh, this this was an, a critical item for our troops back in World War II. Anyway, there you go. That's the BC-611. We'll see you guys next time.